middle of the night and I'm out here in the middle of the woods, covered in mud. What am I doing here? <laughs> From uptown New Orleans to downtown in the French Quarter, meet the real wild animals of New Orleans. Brought to you by Audubon Nature Institute. Out in the dark on a steamy night near Pearl River, Louisiana, a single beacon of light shines out from deep within the Honey Island Swamp. This, my friends, is a bug hunt. Oh, that's a tiny one. This is two of the most colorful insects in the state, I think. And leading this crew of bug enthusiasts is entomologist extraordinaire Zach Lemon. You may recognize him from a previous webisode when he gave us an amazing tour of Audubon Nature Institute's insect research facility. That's a day flying moth. Now he's braving the wild to gather up a new supply of bugs. Smell Whew. that. Smell that. Very beetle smell. Oh man, that smells horrible. I think it is so cool. And I had um, the opportunity to work at the insectarium as an educator for a short period of time. And so only sort of worked with insects inside the museum. And it's really neat that this is where a lot of the insects come from. And this is where a lot of the knowledge that the interns have comes from being out in the field and it really shows you the relationship of it's not just something that we use interpretively in a museum, it's part of our world and it's here and it's like 30 minutes away, which is fantastic. So I thought it was really cool. At a quick glance, this may simply look like a hanging bed sheet and a very bright light bulb, but it's actually a quite effective bug gathering device consisting of multiple lights. The large bright one is a 400 watt mercury vapor light, which is used to attract insects from long distances. And its partners in crime are four 15 watt ultraviolet lights, which the bugs find utterly irresistible. Seven year old Ben Henry is on a serious mission. He's catching dinner for his pet tarantula, Harry. Grasshoppers, crickets, and one cockroach. I saw this one moth, it, it was green like totally green and fuzzy. As Zach gathers up bugs for the butterfly garden and insectarium, he shows the group his fancy bug collecting gadgets, long tongs, special jars, and a tube. If you go out in the jungle and you see ant researchers walking around, they wear these things kind of like, like uh, a necklace. Okay. And when they see really small stuff that they want, but they're afraid to get with their hands because they might crush it or it might sting them, they go like this. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? As they hunt, these insect investigators get covered with bugs, but it's no big deal. Almost at a certain point, you forget, and you st almost kind of stop feeling them or just get used to it because they've got to be on you if they're going to be in front of your eyeballs, which is kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how I felt. It was just sort of like became second nature, and you just like hoped it was a cool one. You know? <laughs> and if they got hungry along the way, a snack was right there. I learned that mayflies were edible. And, <laughs> and I they taste nutty, yeah, apparently. I tried a few of those. <laughs> As things come to a close, the bug lovers reflect on a night they won't soon forget. And Zach celebrates their success in his own way. Yo, check it out. I got bugs in the need. I've been hanging all night just with my sheet. All these things, they're really tight, and they're all flying in to my black light. I'm going to catch them later or soon. Yo, check it, Holmes. I even got me a Luna. What a fun night, and I am so glad that you were able to be a part of this awesome adventure. Who knew that they came out here and caught their own bugs? And we'll see you on the next episode of The Real Wild Animals of New Orleans.